Hey guys, we have here something you don't see every day, an embedded tick. Um, and this happens to campers, people that go up in the mountains here in Southern California. This tick looks like one that's endemic to this area, Western black-legged tick. You can see his little black legs there. He uh, looks like less than a couple days or less than a week he's been on. They usually will get big like your thumb if they're on there a long time. His head is embedded way down in there. So what we're going to do, we don't want to pull the head off. So we have tweezers. We get right down at the base there. Um, and then we can pull that out. So you don't see this every day, but this is something that's good to get out. We also do, you know, ticks can carry Lyme disease. So we do a Western blot that looks for IgM and IgG. So we're testing to make sure that um, no Lyme disease has been transmitted. But when you look real close there, you can see um, those little legs on the side and the head is kind of down in there. So we'll get this out for him today. Okay, so we can see the tick here. You can see his legs there. We've put in a little bit of lidocaine um, just to numb up here so he doesn't feel us pulling a little bit. And you want to get deep down here by the head. And we're going to slowly put some pressure on there. I don't yank because we don't want to pull the head off. That's what you're always looking for. Because it is deep in there. And we're easing that out there. There we go. You can see here how they detach. There's a little leg right here. It came off there. You heard it. Just... Yeah, you can hear it detach there. So there's a little leg we're gonna get out there too. Um, but right here, you can see, we wanna make sure, so sometimes I'll even do a two millimeter punch because there is a little leg right there. I wanna make sure there's nothing left inside there because their heads are pretty deep. It looks like a little head right there, but if there's a little leg left over, sometimes we'll get that out too. So I'm gonna put him over here. Right there, and they're usually full of blood. You can see a little bit coming out of there mouth right here it's just kind of dark blood Good. yeah i may do i numbed you up i'm, I'm going to do a two millimeter i want to make sure there's no remnants left in there or you'll just get kind of like a little abscess just a tiny little um because i do see there's a tiny bit left there okay. okay guys so when we pulled that off i could see part of the head on the tick but we see that little black dot there you don't want to leave the head in there because it'll cause like a little abscess. So we're going to just punch that out with a little two millimeter punch. One thing that looks good, he's got a little bit of inflammation, which is normal. He doesn't have like a big target lesion, which happens sometimes if the tick has transmitted um, any type of, uh, you know, like Lyme disease, bacterial infection that the body responds to. So that's a good sign. After a couple of days, he just has a little bit of redness. If you have any pain, let me know. I can put a little more light on him. You shouldn't need it. It's very just tough. Right at the surface. All right. Now we're going to get this little. That's it. So it's right just about a millimeter down. You can see there's like a little black dot. So that's good. Get to one little stitch in here, and that's the end of that guy. <laughs> I don't see anything else in there. Looks good. So that'll close that teeny tiny hole. And I'd like to have you back in like seven to 10 days just to check to see if you have any inflammation. We'll go over the blood work and we can pop this stitch out for you if that's okay. Are you in the area still? Or? Yeah, right okay. down the street. Good, good. Okay. You watch some videos, you will see people sometimes cover the tick in Vaseline and wait for it to let go, which can be a couple days sometimes. And if you have a, a newer tick attachment, it does take a while for them to transmit anything. So it's good to just kind of get that off right away. I don't like waiting myself. I like to get them off 
If there's any remnant, we just punch out that tiny little head and that makes sure that's gone. And then we watch and see if his body has any response. We do the blood work and it's just that easy, just one little stitch. Um, so thanks for popping by and thanks to him for sharing this interesting um, presentation. It almost looks like a skin tag and some people do think it's a skin tag, but definitely a black leg Western tick. So thanks again. Perfect. Okay, we might have some focus issues, but you can see here, we're gonna try and, this is our little punch here. That little black dot right in the middle is the head or the tip of the head. They can be segmental sometimes. And they really get in there and they embed themselves almost like little hooks. So that tip of the head, that way they don't get pulled out easily. You can see right there, if you, I know it's really hard to see, but that little, it almost looks like a hook right there. That was the tip of the head. Looking to see if there's any more in here. Gosh, and they're so small. So, see it right there. So, oh, it's very easy to leave something that big, guys. We're talking a half of one millimeter. You can kind of see what looks like little prongs coming off of it, of that black dot right there. And that is just the very tip of the head. Oh, look at his legs moving. He's moving. He's literally moving. So, we got what looks like the head. When you look there, it's black at the end. You can see those legs moving right now. So, we're going to dispose of him. Um, but that was the very tip where the prongs go forward uh, right there. And that attaches right there. So, we got that out. And, you know, if, if you don't go to a professional and somebody just pulls it out at home, they're going to leave that little bit. You're going to get an abscess. It's going to get irritated. So, nice little two millimeter punch is all it takes to make sure we got it clear. And these things are pretty hardy, man. You can see I poked him and pulled part of his head off, and he's still moving his legs. So um, that's the end of that guy. And hopefully he wasn't carrying anything. So we can, you know, sometimes people will open them. They're kind of like a little sack here. There. He's already turning that blood kind of black. He's digesting it. So that's it there. The blood that he had taken, it just, that's a, a, a mini pop. <laughs> so that's a tick right there. That's how you take care of them. We're doing the blood work just to be safe. And thanks again for popping by, guys. So we got the head out. Hey, guys, Mr. Popsit here. If you like what you just saw, make sure to pop all the buttons. See you soon.